So it's 31st of July. We made it here to Gundahoo River Outfitters. We've got Don here with us, and two of us are gonna hunt together and see if we can't get a couple of giant stone sheep over the next uh, two weeks, 10 days. Excited to be here up in BC, uh, putting the finishing touches, everything we need for the next 10 to 14 days in our packs. Just looking forward to getting away from civilization for a little while and it's what you train for, it's what you live for when you're into this kind of stuff and just can't wait to get out there. Gundahu is something that Crystal and I actually started, the name Gundahu. It's a river in the north area, dissects the area kind of in half. The outfitting part came at a time when I'd been quite ill. And then all of a sudden this opportunity came north. It came up here and it all fell into place. It was never done for the money, it's way of life. Been blessed along the way with lots of good karma. Um, you know, it's kind of our turn to give that back. All right, we're loading up the horses. We got a six hour ride today. We're gonna go up the drainage and get up into the, closer into sheep country. We've got a camp back up in there, depending on what time we get there, we may backpack tonight, or we may stay in camp and then hunt from there tomorrow. Season opens tomorrow. Weather today is a little bit wet, but it's supposed to clear up tomorrow. If you're gonna have bad weather, it's nice to have the day before you can hunt anything. So, get a little bit of a wet ride in. But at least we're not giving up a hunting day to do it. Can't wait. When I was younger, we, my dad and I used to pack in with horses in Colorado. This is the first hunt that I've done or used horses to get into an area in, in quite a long time. You know, using horses to get into the sheep country in this country is actually a pretty efficient way to do it. it saves your legs. From there, we're going to go up into the mountains with our backpacks. So we have long ways to travel with the wet weather days. It's actually going to be really nice. August 2nd is our second day. We looked for the ram last night where they'd last seen him. Five days ago they saw him up the range. Two days ago they saw him in the space behind us. We go up and over ridge and out towards the mineral lake and see if we can catch him back in there. They've seen sheep, the rams back in there historically. So. Exciting day. We had a young ram. They're trying to see if it was legal or not. It was about a year too young and a, probably about an inch, inch too short. So we waited him out, but it turned out he was just with another smaller sheep. So we're just looking to see if we can find another part of that band and see if we can find him. All right, up on the mountain yesterday, I got a hold of Brandon, and he had found a ram. Well, sometimes things just work out. We uh, we been watching these rams for a couple days. Came in here tonight just to keep an eye on them. I told Scott, I said, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go intercept him and see if we can get in front of him. And looking over the top of the hill, I could just see his back, but I got a good range on him. Hit him right here at 48 yards, and he was down at 50. And man, I'm just thrilled. Half a slam with a bow, a couple more to go, but I'm just thrilled to thrilled to get a sheep here. And not an easy thing to do, and right place at the right time. Scott was awesome. We uh, we had a lot of fun, and uh, just the culmination of a pretty good time. So pretty stoked. We're back at a horse camp. We spent three days up on the mountain. 
So we're gonna relocate. We're gonna go into an area that they'd seen some big sheep last year. There's three drainages, they call it the triangle. It's one of their favorite spots. Let's keep our fingers crossed, hope it works out. We're on day number five. Walked up an incredible valley last night and camped out in this amazing spot. We're just gonna go up and over. Today's gonna be all about vertical, so. It's gonna be two sheep Saturday. Let's go do it. I do. He has a nice deep curl. It's been nine seconds since he saw him, so I guess that's in his first love. Yeah, love at first sight. It's a sexy man. Dude, that was great. That was great. Guys, so how are we going to make this approach? Look at we can come around. That was awesome. What a ram. The work. Oh, what a ram too, buddy. I'm so proud of you. Dude, that was a fucking world class oh. ram. Yes. Congratulations. Scott, thank you. Oh, uh, dude. Oh. Nice shooting. Nice shooting. Great stock you put together. Teamwork. Everyone has their preferences, but for me, you know, the sheep hunts are the ultimate. It's not just a hunt, it's a it's a pure test. 
you can't just you know climb into a tree stand and, and sheep hunt. You you have to earn it. You have to work for it. That is over days and hours of just brutal climbing and river crossings and. is a, a full full commitment, full body, full mind commitment. If you're not into it, you're not gonna have a good time. And an unusual boss for words. It's just been such an awesome week, such an awesome uh, day. Um, everything about it just makes you want to keep coming back. Storm's rolling in, we got lightning breaking over the top of our head. We're gonna head back up to camp, we've got a bit of a ways to go. Got some, some technical stuff to get through. All part of the good stuff. All right, buddy, nice work today. Let's do it. One more to go. Guess we're not gonna get two sheep Saturday, but we'll take this sheep's the size of two, so we'll take it. direction where we found Don sheep. From what I can see, lots of little finger ridges, tons of habitat. Looks incredible. I can't wait to get up over the top and see it's on the back side. Should be good. Wipe it all over yourself. It's a fucking helicopter moment for sure. <laughs> Blood sport, not just the sheep get bloody. And that rock just, I mean, it just went. Oh, oh I saw it, dude. I was like, oh. Oh. hey, well, at least the rock wasn't very big. It was only about this big. Yeah. <laughs> it's only about a 15 pound rock. It wasn't sharp. It was like razor sharp on the bottom. And, and thank God your finger got in between it and the other rock when it was sliding in there because <laughs> yeah, otherwise you could have hurt the rock. Good thing you had gloves on because it would really hurt You'd that lost rock. your finger if you didn't have gloves on. He had attack gloves on. Just want to note that. Brendan doesn't look happy that with how awesome about that glove right was. It just no, saved his finger. <laughs> Congrats on Don't the sheep. Thank you. Congrats. 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 Great to have you. Congrats. Good. That was awesome. Can't wait till the next one. Likewise. Keep working. Oh, we will. I wish I could. I know. I wish you were staying. It's great to have you here. Likewise, boys. All right. Awesome. Be All safe. Right. Be, Be good. good. Love to. Get out safe. All right, buddy. See ya. Be good, man. Later, guys. See ya. Our seventh day. We woke up this morning. We camped up high on a ridge. We got three more days. Um, it's hot today. The so sheep are gonna be up high. We're just gonna take our time. We're gonna do it to find the panorams or a couple. We just haven't found the right spot where they're hanging out, so we'll get it done. Day 10 is our last full hunt day. We're gonna go pick apart some of this lower country that we haven't spent as much time in. I like the last day. Tends to get scraped up. They don't 
I'll give you the last day unless you're going to use it. No. Otherwise, it's a nine, nine day hunt. So. <laughs> yeah, the last day is just as good as the first. Let's go. straight down from it. Where it gets really craggy. It's real bad, like it's the worst spot almost, right? Yeah, looks like a bike. He's below that. Okay. I'll be able to find him here. This works, I think. Why make it easy? Could have found him just below us instead. It's about as far away as we can get. Let's go get him. Dude, we got it done. That is a dark We got it sheep. done. Good job, man. Good we time. see one legal sheep in 10 days, and that's the one Don shot. Until this guy. And we didn't find these sheep until, we didn't find him until this afternoon. The first two we saw today were legal. What a, what a hunt, what a tough hunt. A lot of the, the sheep hunt you on the bottoms, glass up and make a stock up, but it's the first time I've spent the entire time up on top. It's been, it's been pretty awesome. Everybody. Squeaked her in. <laughs> Bush plane just flew by to radio us and tell us they don't think they're gonna be able to get us tonight. It isn't a big deal other than we're out of food. Guess we're gonna be eating backstrap tonight for dinner. It's truly a marathon of a sheep hunt. It just keeps getting better. Well, at least we got it done. Three stone sheep in 10 days, it's pretty damn good. It's an experience, like we don't, we don't sell animals, you know, we sell experiences experience of a lifetime really you know it's it is not high pressure it's um, good clean fun you know 
our job has been to make people's dream come true. But all our clients have made our dreams come true. You know, I mean, without them, it'll never work. It'll never worked. And uh, we've been able to live the dream. We do not have any food left. <laughs> this is all we've got. We have nothing left to eat. <laughs> this is not a setup. <laughs> yeah, this is purely for survival. This isn't a memento to Fred yeah. Bear or no. Some we old don't have hunter. anything like, else to eat. We're doing this because we have to survive, yeah. and we're freaking yeah. starving. Yeah. Thank you.